guys, I am back for another awesome fly camping adventure. I have not been able to get out of fly camp since uh, February, if you can believe that. It's buttery smooth air, and we've got plenty of time before the sun sets. It doesn't get much better, baby. I'm gonna fly over this mountain range, back behind it to a mountaintop, and camp up there. Man, I tell you. I miss fly camping. I've attempted like two or three fly camping trips in the last month and none of them have worked out. So to safely get there, I need to climb to about 8,000 feet. I'm at about five right now. Just like three weeks ago, these mountains are completely covered in snow and now there's almost nothing on them. But I know there's still some snow on the mountain that I'm going to, so that'll be, that'll be kind of cool. So the mountaintop that I'm flying to is actually just one peak over from uh, the one that I the one that I landed on last fall and made a video about. All right, so I've got a road down there that I can land on if I have to. So if something goes horribly wrong and I end up not being able to take off in the morning and I have to glide off. I've got a couple spots down here that I can glide to and land. You always want to have a way to get out. All right, I'm going to hook this up since I'm almost there. Here we are once again, back on this lovely mountaintop. Oh yeah, there's some snow up here. Oh, this is so cool. I definitely don't want to get on the backside of this because there's a good breeze up here. It'll be a nice, easy landing. Yeah. Look at this! Oh yeah! My buddy Adam and I landed on this peak a couple years ago and camped on it. So uh, it brings back some good memories. I miss you, buddy. I wish you were here. It'd be a lot more fun if you were here. We still got a bunch of sunlight left. Let's go up here and check it out. Okay. Where to camp? <sighs> Oh, 7,000 feet. Get you a little winded. I'm gonna maybe camp right here. Yeah, this is a good spot. I'm so happy I'm up here right now. It's so worth it. I almost didn't come up. I was, I had a really long day. I was super tired, but I'm so glad I did. I mean, look at this. Look at those mountain peaks. They're all covered in snow still. So beautiful. You can see so far because the air is so clean right now. Unlike the last time I was up here, it was like super smoky. Just amazing. I love it. Gotta get my wing bundled up. Wings packed up. Now I can go up and start making camp. It smells so good up here. I love the smell of high mountains. Such a good smell.
this is fly camping. Like just being up here, no one else for miles. It's just amazing. Yeah, I'll just finish setting up camp after the sun goes down. I don't want to miss the sunset. It's so beautiful. There goes the sun. A perfect end to a perfect day. The mountaintops and the sky behind me are all glowing pink. Well, now I'm gonna finish setting up camp and then uh, start building a fire and cook some food. I mean, look at this sky. I thought it was done with the color. I thought it reached its peak and it just keeps getting better. It's so beautiful. Oh, it's amazing. Got a fire crackling. It does not get better than this. Like this is, this is as good as it gets. Like I flew up here with a freaking paramotor and I landed up here. There's no one for miles. And I got like the best sunset anybody's seeing right now. This is awesome. I didn't bring a ton of water with me because I knew there was going to be snow up here, so I was trying to save weight. So I'm going to go scoop up some snow for my jet boil. Oh yeah, that'll work. Got a bunch of snow. Go back up here to the fire and start cooking some food. I am hungry. Got my water heating up. I got a mountain house here. Pad Thai with chicken. That's gonna be super good. food up to the top of a mountain just makes it taste extra good <laughs> everything just hit the spot what an amazing night but it's about 11 o'clock so I think I'm gonna go to bed Here and watch the 
sunrise from inside my tent and uh, wait for this wind to die down because it's way too strong to take off in. Hopefully it does or I'm going to be stuck up here all day. about eight o'clock now and it's still blowing fairly hard but it's died down a little bit for sure and uh, it's supposed to die down even more over the next like two hours so it's at around eight o'clock or it's at around nine o'clock it's supposed to be about three mile an hour with eight mile an hour gusts so that'll be perfect waiting on that water to boil I think I'm gonna start packing up because it's definitely like getting it's dying down it's still kind of there's still some strong gusts like right now but um, it's definitely getting lighter and lighter so I think I'll be able to, to take off here within the next hour or so breakfast time got all packed up and uh, it really seemed like it was dying down there for about 20 minutes and then all of a sudden it just really picked up and it's really windy again. So I don't know, it's still forecasted to continue dying down between now and noon. It's 10 o'clock right now, but I just don't really think it's going to happen as the day gets hotter, thermals are going to start cycling up and I think it's just going to get windier and windier. So I might be stuck here until this evening. So I'm just going for a little hike right now. I'm gonna hike over to this other ridge, check it out, and uh, just do a little exploring. I could have landed up here too, camped right here, but that peak behind me is where I was at, is where I'm at. That's much higher, so I like that a lot better. That's why I chose that one over this one, because I always like to try to land on the highest peak around, get the best view. But this one's really nice. Nice and smooth and grassy. There's some wolf poop on the ground. Well, I think I'm gonna head back up to where I was camped at. Um, I don't want to do too much hiking today because I don't want to burn a bunch of calories since I don't have a ton of extra food with me. But it's starting to get a little lighter. There's, there's, there's some stronger gusts, but the lulls are definitely li a lot lighter than they were like an hour ago. So it's getting kind of promising. But I'm going to send the drone up and get some shots and we'll see if I get a a high wind warning on the drone. It definitely is dying down. Um, there's still some strong gusts, but just a little bit ago, it went completely still for the first time in like 12 hours. So it's definitely dying. I think I'm gonna get set up and fly home. I'm sure it's gonna be a bumpy flight home, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. If you guys like this content, wanna see more, consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one.
There we go. It's strong enough to do a for, uh, reverse for sure, but since I'm holding a selfie stick, I'm gonna wait for a lull and do a forward. I don't wanna get yanked up too hard. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, it's strong. Although I really wouldn't mind being in the mountains the whole day. I love the mountains. Just, uh, I did have things I want to do today. There's something so satisfying about pulling off a mission like this and making it successful and it all ends up being safe and everything goes according to plan. It's such a cool feeling. And, you know, it's, it's a challenge. It's definitely like a challenge to do something like this. Um, it's there's, there's definitely some risk. I, I try to do it as safely as I can, but it is, uh, it's just amazing. I can't believe how smooth it is up here. Like, it's, there's not a single bump. I thought I'd be for sure just get beat up as I got out of, as I flew out of these mountains. I am at 9,000 feet right now. Well, I've got the valley on glide now, so I can relax knowing that if I have an engine out, I can safely make it home. Uh, check that out. That lake down there still has ice on it. beautiful and I bet there's just like dozens of spots to land out there and I'm gonna be the one to find them you can count on that I think I'm gonna stay at this altitude for a little bit longer because I'm I can feel some rudder coming off those mountains so I'm gonna get a little further away from them before I start to drop and that's the field I'm going to right down there all right, engine off. Pop the ear cups up. Let's see, what's that? That's what I'm doing for sure. I can't tell. I'm too high still. Let's see. Let's get this on my hand so I can hold it out like that. There's so much lift. Gonna overshoot my landing. <laughs> 